We kind of shot off of there kind of like a bobsled. So we got a call for a Jeep with a broken knuckle up here by the chute. We're gonna go up there, see if we can get it put back together and limp it off from the trail. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, like 60 degrees. We're headed for the 80s though. So we got Colin back there. Hey guys, I'm back here with all the dogs. We're gonna go have a good time. We really need the wrecker for this job, but it's up at Chad's Fab getting worked on. We're not gonna have it for a while. These wrecker jobs just keep coming in, but all I can do is either whine about it or get out here and get this problem solved. We've decided to just solve the problem. together with batteries because we do not have our premier power welder installed in the banana yet and yes we're gonna be installing one for this exact type of situation why did we bring you moral support so I'm still pretty new at remembering how to do stick welding in general this DC battery stick welding is extra tricky Let's see how this goes I might have Colin help me because he's the certified welder in our family. I'm a little nervous about where the Jeep is sitting. We came in last night, Matt and I came on a date and we checked out the situation so we'd know what to bring today. But it's sitting on top of an obstacle oh. and Matt thinks he's gonna try and leave it there to weld it, but it makes me a little nervous. All right, we're gonna let the dogs nope. out and run. That's what's broken under there. So there's the top of the chute right there. I think they came off the chute and then there's this alternate obstacle you can do on the way out and it broke when they were on the way out of this and so here it sits we've got Hefe coming to help i'm going to have him actually anchor to the back of this i don't think it'll move anywhere if we lift it up but if it did move it would be devastating so get Hefe back there with his bronco and then we'll start getting this lifted up. All right, Matt's designated this as his workbench. We're just gonna unload all the tools and then get this job started. Matt's here to save me. As soon as we broke down yesterday, there was a girl standing over here and she had one of your shirts on. I'm like, do you have Matt's phone number by chance? And she was like, I do. And I thought she was goofing around like 10 minutes later. She walks back over and she's all, it's Matt. I'm like, no way, get out of here. I almost made it. Yeah, you almost did. They pulled me, uh, I got up as high centered at the top. So they pulled me down this way and my front tires were buried in the rock. So I hit the gas. <laughs> Snapped my own axle. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Right there. Something's not right with that. What's it not doing? how slow that is. My winch isn't working correctly. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. We'll figure it out later. Better <laughs> now. So when you're welding oh, hey. DC, you weld negative to zero electrode. Mm. No brakes. Okay. Brake lines ripped off. Don't threaten me with a good time. So we're gonna be doing some DC welding here with these batteries. It's gonna be a good time. That's about all I can promise. Max, you poor dog. You have to be all locked up. He just likes wandering. And it's he doesn't run away. He just runs in really big circles. And it gets annoying when you're trying to find when him you or you're to trying to leave. Him. So we don't mind bringing him. We just have to tie him up. Oh, 
put the... You're good. You're going to hit right on the frame right there. They lock Did you bring your cool flying tool? You got the adapter for these? It's in my truck back at the tanks. I took everything out of the Jeep. Anybody else got one? We can do this with the tire on. We're fine. Okay. This will be a little more work, but we can do it. Don't wiggle it without permission. Well, that's a scary spot. Right. Okay. Wow. Oh, the too. That is a significant amount of twist right there. How this happens is the U joint breaks first. And then the ears get into each other, and if you steer just a little bit, it just fries, pops it open. A little bit down a little bit. Nice and slow. Okay, stop right there. We're trying to get this ball joint to pop in right there. It came out with some force. It's going in with some force. And it's going in with some force. It sure did. Really? Unbelievable. Yeah, now we just gotta weld this upper piece on and we'll be driving out of here. Huh. Okay, so we're gonna put this little piece in here. Alright, let's try and Weld it up. Jamie, will you clean up everything that I don't need and just send it over here? Good luck. That's a loaded question. <laughs> it's easy. Just think of how you're going to get this Jeep out of here and don't do anything that would cause us problems. <laughs> can't wait to shock myself with this janky setup we have. Dude, you can't get shocked with this. This is 24 oh. volts. I think Colin can manage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I just need. I don't know what I need. I need something though. Okay. Oh man, that's so tall. Okay. I'm gonna weld it really good on front and back, and then we're gonna put a strap on it. It's actually welding a lot better than it sounds like. We got four batteries hooked up to this, huh? Five, yeah, that's right. The two in the two in the banana, and then these three right here. Yeah, so they're in series and parallel. Wow. That's welding good. How's that welding system look? Janky. <laughs> Alright, now we're on the back side of the tire. That is crazy. Being a, being a welder, you have a dial and you know all that fancy stuff. These are just batteries and it's actually doing it. It's crazy. Dude, it's bending it to wrap around. The... Yeah. So this is just gonna go around this right here. So Colin, I need you behind there with pliers to hold this in place. That'll do it. Let's take a look at this repair. All right, let's clean this up. What do you think of these batteries? I'm pretty impressed with them, actually. I've done some DC welding in my past life, but it wasn't as smooth or as powerful as these are. Okay, do you want to unhook? Peanut! Kind of shot off of there, kind of like a bobsled. There's not much parking brake in there. All right, we're gonna drive this out of here. Hopefully, it stays together. We just tested it on the old bobsled run there. I'm in the banana right now driving. We gotta follow my dad. He has no brakes. I think they might have said that already. 
So we're gonna let the dogs run a little bit and then load them up and follow my dad out. So we'll see how he gets out of here. I think he's gonna be okay. He's a good driver. Does the AC work? I will not be coming on any more jobs this summer unless the AC gets fixed. That's a threat. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna ease on out of here in two wheel drive, try to find the smoothest lines and the smallest rocks. I wanted you to go down the rocks and test your welds. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was focusing on driving a Jeep with no brakes. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about brakes. Yeah. Faster, faster, faster. All right, we did it. No brakes and everything. Like, no brakes. Parking brake, foot brakes, none of them. And you'll there see you me are. wearing this. I earned it. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you much. Appreciate it. You guys enjoy the rest of your trip. And there, that comes with a... Uh, oh, even cave. <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. We got them out of there just in time for lunch. Let's go get some lunch. I'd say we're getting pretty good at these repair trail repairs. Big thanks to Eric from BSF Recovery, Rory from Trail Mater. I stole all your ideas. Empty? What the? John! Who took all my good ideas? Thanks for watching. Next time we'll make it a little bit harder. Please don't. <laughs>